if you're tired of using tape and zip ties to hold your glow sticks on for fishing, then you need to check out this episode of Hack to Fish. guys first of all i'm just like everybody else at one point in time i've used a glow stick on a fishing rod at night fishing the only problem is the next day i go to get it off and either the tape or the zip tie has scratched up and damaged my rod when i take it off and everything and if you spend 60 to 80 dollars on a rod you don't really want to scratch it up or anything if you have to. I mean, I know accidents happen, but sometimes you can avoid them. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple DIY that you can make, that you can attach your glow sticks on your fishing rod that it won't hurt them. And they actually stay on there pretty good. Now, the reason I wanted to start using glow sticks again is well first of all i'm diabetic i've been diabetic for five years my eyesight is not what it used to be but my wife's eyesight is a lot worse than mine and if she goes night fishing with me this year she's going to have a hard time seeing the fishing rods and everything when they move or get a hit so i wanted to try to make a diy easy for her to put the glow sticks and stuff on the rods and i think this is pretty accurate let me get this fishing rod out of the way and i will show you what you need real quick <clears throat> all right guys first of all you're going to need to go to the dollar store and get you some of these bracelets make sure it's the bracelets and you'll figure out why here in a minute when we do the build you need to get some old or new oxygen line at walmart i think i give this is eight foot and i think i give like a dollar 84 for it not counting tax really cheap and you're gonna need a hot glue gun now, while I was doing this DIY, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I tried super glue. The only thing that would probably hold better than the hot glue would probably be two-part epoxy, five minutes. But then you got to hold it together for about five minutes. I really believe that this hot glue is the best glue that you can use. So, let me turn you around here and I'll show you real close what we're going to do in this build. And then we'll test it in the dark and I'll show you how good it stays on the rod. Alright guys, the first thing I want you to do is take your glow sticks, open them up. Now, the reason I said you need the bracelets is because the bracelets come with these little bitty plastic pieces that you put the bracelets together. The bracelets are a key factor in this when you go buy them because you need the part that connects the bracelets together on the glow sticks. You need this part right here. And I'll show you why. Go ahead and set that over to the side. Next, get your oxygen hose. Now, this oxygen hose needs to be just a little bit longer than the part that's going to hold the glow stick. So, we're going to cut it. Set that over to the side. Then, 
cut your oxygen hose down the middle. It's going to be really tight. And this is a little pair of scissors, and it barely fits in this oxygen hose. Cut it right down the middle like that. Be careful, don't cut your finger. That's what it's happened. Now, when you get your oxygen hose split down the middle like this, I want you to take the back side of it and put it up against the oxygen hose like that. Take your hot glue gun and run it down the back side of both of these. Kind of hard to do this and show you at the same time. You want to run it down the back of these two. Let that side cool off and harden. That way you got a good attachment to it. Push it down if you have to, like so. Do the other side. You can take your fingers if you want to and kind of make it even. Now this hot glue is going to glue and it's going to harden. It's on there pretty good. Any gaps you see like this right here, you want to make sure them gaps are filled. See, we got a small gap right there as soon as it focuses in there. There we go. It's got a small gap right there at the end. So, take the hot glue again. Fill it in. Want to make sure you ain't got no soft spots that's going to hold this on here. Clean it off a little bit. Nice and hard on there. All right, I'm going to turn you back around here. We're going to put it on a rod, and we're going to test it in the dark. All right, guys, that's how we build it. We're going to put this glow stick on here. Now, at first, it might be hard to get it on here because this oxygen tubing it's really, really tight, so you got to stretch this oxygen tubing around the eye of the rod.
like so. Now we're going to turn out the light and I'm going to show you how good this DIY build stays on the rod. Like I said, this build stays on here great. Won't come off till you take it off. You don't have to worry about cutting any tape off your rod. You don't have to worry about cutting any zip ties off your rod. It's cheap. And it stays on there. Good build. And I believe it'll help you out in your fishing adventures. Now, I've seen on the internet, I've looked it up at Walmart. These glow stick holders, and they're not even made for big glow sticks like the ones that you buy at the Dollar Tree, are ridiculous. I've seen for the packs at Walmart for the little glow sticks, are four dollars and you only get two of the glow stick holders that goes on the rod this way you get your glow sticks get 20 you can build 20 holders for I'd say less than a dollar a piece and you get definitely get your money's worth you can definitely see one of these big glow sticks better at night because they're bigger and they're brighter than the little beacon glow sticks and I think they're self-sufficient to their self. You'll be able to see your hits, you'll be able to see the takedown on circle hooks, or you will be able to see your rod move when you're using a J-hook. Now, if you've got a way cheaper to put a glow stick on a rod, stays on just as tough as mine is let me know join my group on facebook hack the fish we'll discuss how to do it but for right now this is going to be what i use it's tough stays on there easy to see i'm going to use it all summer till again this is hack the fish and i'm out well, guys, if you've made it this far in this video, check out some of my other two videos or hit the Hack the Fish symbol down here at the bottom. It will give you a chance to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. Thanks for watching, and this is Hack the Fish.